Greetings, my friend. We are all interested in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. Here's an idea. Fast internet. Yeah, sounds pretty good to me too. That could work for me. NBN is the National Broadband Network. It's going to replace our current telecommunication system. Whenever I want to watch a video on the internet, information gets sent down these copper cables to my house. These are the same copper cables that Telstra used to connect phone calls. So what this new MBN is, is changing from those copper cables to these fiber optic cables. So now me and Leroy can go pillage faster. Ready, guys. Anyway, I don't want to focus on the politics, but more the result of the politics. You see, the Labour Party has already commissioned the construction, or the rollout, of FTTP infrastructure. And the Liberal Party has just announced that it's going to implement FTTN if it's elected at the end of the year. But what does FTTP and FTTN mean? As an aside, looking at the polls, it's not really a surprise who's going to win. So, FTTP actually means fibre to the premises. So, the premises is your house. So, your house will be connected to the optical fibre. So, that means no more copper cable. FTTN means fibre to the node. What's a node? Well, the node is basically a junction box in your neighborhood. It serves a few hundred customers within a radius of a few kilometers. And then that will connect to the copper cable, which reaches your house. But what does that mean? Does that mean anything? Why would that mean anything different? So the fiber optic cable that reaches your house means there's no more copper cable, so you could achieve, in theory, at least 100 megabits per second. <laughs> while fiber to the node so that junction box where it changes over to copper cable afterwards means you can reach about 25 megabits per second. So that difference is the direct result of the type of cabling used. Copper means megabits are confusing. Sorry megabits, but well. Do you want my head to so here's an explanation. Eight bits equals one byte. Or eight megabits equals one megabyte. So a high quality picture is about one megabyte. A medium quality movie is about 700 megabytes. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. So to calculate the real meaning of the two plans, we have to divide by 8. We have to divide megabits by 8 to get how many megabytes. Seeing as no one I have ever met talks in megabits. It's like saying I have 1,000 milliliters of milk. Just say you have a liter. Everyone knows what milk a liter is. Milk was a bad choice. The current labor plan of 100 megabits per second is really 12.5 megabytes per second. While the proposed liberal plan of 25 megabits per second is really only downloading at 3.125 megabytes per second. Basically 3 megabytes per second. So 3 megabytes per second, whilst it's a slight improvement on my current plan, it's not a huge improvement. The other advantage of having fiber all the way to my house is that all the repairs to the constantly tired and old existing copper cabling that doesn't need to happen because it's going to be all taken out. See, FTTN is not a new idea. Germany and the UK already have it in place. It's a few years old and apparently they're actually in the process of upgrading to a fibre to the premises network. So the question is why are we, Australia, building a whole new network but only going halfway? Well, apparently it's cheaper and it's faster to complete. Sort of. See, the coalition network will cost about 20.4 billion based on today's estimates against Labor's 37.4 billion, which is essentially half price. We're not taking into account all the blowouts proposed by both sides. And by cutting out that last step, so the fibre from the node, the junction box to your house, the completion date changes from 2019 compared to 2021 for the current plan. I just want to go into a bit more detail on this one point. And it's the other large complaint that I've heard. It's just that, isn't it we, the taxpayers, who are funding this? And sort of, we are, but Eventually. See, the government's funding the project through selling bonds. I don't do that, you don't do that. What does that mean? What does selling bonds mean? The bonds are basically pieces of paper that say, I owe you X amount to investors, which is sort of like borrowing off investors, just like you borrow off the bank. As the investors are eventually going to sell the bonds back to the government, getting their money back, they'll get a nice piece of interest for their troubles, let's say 4% per year. This is just like you borrowing money from a bank to build a home. So you borrow money off the bank, the amount you borrowed you have to pay back with interest, say 4% as well. But when the MBN is operational, the people using the MBN, so the internet users, that's you or me, we're going to pay our providers money. They're going to pay to the government. And the government will pay the original investors for the MBN. 
This is just like you having tenants move into a house you've just built. They're going to be paying you rent. So the mortgage isn't costing you anything because the people living in your house are paying you rent. Now rent is more than the amount you have to pay in mortgage payments back to the bank. So following that question, people ask, so won't this cost us more to use the MBN internet? Well, we already pay similar tariffs because all internet companies in Australia have to pay Telstra because they use Telstra's infrastructure. All those copper cables, all those tunnels, Telstra built them with investors' money last century, so we have to pay tariffs for that. Last point is that Japan has just showcased this neuro service with speeds of 256 megabytes per second. That's not gigabits, that's not confusing language. It's actually 2 gigabits per second in confusing language. But it's 256 megabytes per second. Whoa. So that's downloading a movie in a few seconds. So the MBN offers 120th that speed, while the coalition speed is 180th of Neuro's service. Anyway, I'll leave the decision up to you. Thank you for watching, and make sure to comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. I want to thank Malcolm. Um, I now want to hand to him uh, to, uh, to elaborate on the policy today. Good. Thank you. Thank God. I think I'll skip it. Good. Well, as Tony has said.